Hey, you cats and kittens, we're back with part two of Life is Strange, episode four, Faith, where Sean just got harassed by some uh, folks who happen to be a little mean and prejudiced and bigots, or they are bigots. And our lesson from the last video was don't be a Chad. Um, he's on the run again. He was in the hospital, in a coma. Daniel's missing. He's going to Nevada, Nevada to find Daniel and hope and pray he finds Daniel. And we're going to go back to where we left off by hitting Resume. Where he's peeling out away from Chad and somewhat nice guy. I'm sorry, Daniel. I told you I'm making all the bad decisions here. Blame Zombie Kitty and don't blame yourself, even though you're going to literally run out of gas and be driving on fumes for like at least a mile. You can drive. You can lock your engine. The wolf oh my god. Split apart. I thought like this it, very long pause before this started. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. Good on now. Good Daniel. Let's get Daniel. Let's let's re meet up with Daniel. He must have hit the guard good to be knocked out that long to where people didn't realize he was missing like within an hour or two. Did his pants say space fluff ups? You're getting burnt boy you need some sunscreen or suntan lotion. Did you see the details of the sweat? That's sweet. And look at how like the everything's all shifty and wavy like you're walking in heat. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that like the actual heat vapors. I always thought that was pretty cool. Okay. What are we doing? Still a few hours away from Haven Point. I can't even walk fast. Almost there. I'm I I feel like I'm gonna drop out. Like just go yeah, see? Plop. We're just gonna fall. Oh. I'm- I was holding so he would walk fast and that's what happens. Oh, shit, I need a break. Might be some shade at the next billboard. We're not gonna make it to the billboard, Sean. I'm trying my bestest. Look at those beautiful power lines to your right. Two different styles of power lines. But look at all those beautiful mountains. I have friends who live out here. They say it's pretty because you get to see mountains. Hold. I was holding the wrong button. My mind is still in Minecraft. I was holding control. I gotta sh switch those buttons because I've been doing that lately. Oh look, there's some shade. Sean, look, I found shade. Look, there's shade there yes. too, but that's fine. We'll shade. go here. Oh man. My feet are killing me. Well, cause it feels like hiking in hell. You're in the desert. What else did you think hiking in the desert was going to feel like? Let's t the dr drink water is a must. Shit. Always stay hydrated. My throat feels like sand. You've probably been breathing in a lot of sand. I'll hydrate with ya. Now let's draw. Sean, let's draw. Where's your bag again? Never drew a desert before. Cool. Huh. There's always a first for everything. So Empty and quiet. Yeah. Larry's fireworks. I want fireworks. One place I don't think I could ever survive is the desert. 
Like, I can barely survive in, like, farm country. Would never be able to survive okay. in desert. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Wow, all I did was click the paper and it just drew. There we go. I was like, oh no, I can't do anything anymore. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Look, it's pretty full. This place is so empty. Yeah, now let's put the fine details on. <laughs> At least on. I won't mess up perspective for once. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Yeah, we can. Look okay. at all that detail we just, just got. Draw now. Don't think about anything else. Oh, that's beautiful, Sean. Absolutely gorgeous. What about the thing in the background? I wish drawing was this simple. We were just like, yeah! Photographic memory, blop! And I just it's need done. To focus on the subject and get in the zone. Like I used to. Nope, we're just gonna draw hell. We are definitely gonna draw I hell. Could try adding details. Focus a bit more. Ah, <laughs> that's cool. Man. I like that. My eye always starts hurting when I focus for too long. Because you're seeing with one eye and not two anymore. It's gonna become stronger, Sean. Just you wait and see. Is that you making the sound, or is there like a tiny little lizard near us? Because I want a lizard. Like, I'm kind of jealous of people who get lizards that go across their, like, sidewalk when I just get bugs. And lots and lots of bugs. Sweet, now we can walk faster. Daniel better be okay. Yeah, wherever I Daniel like is. You I haven't. Can work out everything that's happened. Yeah. Oh, Wolfie! You wait to get out on your own. Look, it's a coyote. See, I still now get those. I get those where I'm at. We get coyotes. Let's go eat the dead animal, maybe? Look. Shit. This place is freaking me out. Well. Oh, and now there's a vulture. That's cool. I don't think that's something I'll ever see over here either in the Midwest. Well, specifically Chicago. I don't oh, think we have fucking hot. Feels like my brain is melting. Yeah, I've <sighs> actually been there and done that. Oh, shit, there's a truck coming. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's topping. Uh, okay. Uh, be cool. He's a logger. Just, uh, see what he wants. He's a logger and he probably wants to help you because people see people on the side of the road in the desert, I would help. Even if that means I get killed by a crazy psycho killer. Truckers can't be cops. Right? Good question. Very good question. Hey. Oh, we're glitchy. It's too damn hot to be walking. Thank you. Um. Get in? Yeah. Thanks. Hold up. Jesus will save you. Ha! <laughs> For this game? No. Oh, he's got someone who's all patriotic and a little girl, Choco Crisps and everything. Was Daniel here? Jeez. Happen to you? Uh, my brother has magical powers, and I got beat up. <laughs> I ran into a couple of assholes. Who beat me up for no reason. Uh, 
I see. Happens a lot around here. Say thank you. Sean Manners, thank you. Hands on. You there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh, I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> yeah, too much information, but 10 4. <laughs> you mean number two? You owe me a beer for that. <laughs> That's Don't cool. Don't freak out. I, I wouldn't have picked you up if I had cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. So, you hungry or what? Heck you yeah. Hungry. I've been eating nothing but hospital food, so heck yeah. Oh, I am. Thank you. As you heard. My name's Anton. Mm. It is good, huh? My wife packs the best sandwiches. Aww. <laughs> Messy. Best sandwich ever. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. Say your name, Sean. I'm Sean. Hi, how do you do? I'm on the run from the law. You don't know that? Hopefully you don't know that? Hopefully you're not taking me to the police station? What's your destination? Haven. Mm. Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. So, you're not taking me to the cops, right? Because, you know, I'm on the run, I hotwired a car, I broke out of hospital jail. My friend Finn's dead. The guy that hired us is in the hospital. My brother's a crazy telekinetic kid want. who You're explodes things nice. and causes tornadoes. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Just a boring trucker. Ah, that's gotta be a really boring job. Like honestly. Because I know some truckers stay in the state, like in their own individual states, and then some literally could go across country. It's got to be such a boring job, because depending on like what routes you're taking, you're driving in the middle of nowhere several freaking times. Like the whole mountain thing, at least for me, a city girl, would be interesting to look at. But like here, closer to the Midwest, we get nothing but farm country where it's literally just like wheat farms and corn farms and you get a barn or a tree every couple miles. Not both. One or the other. It is horrible. I never want to do that again. <laughs> Ever. It was so horrible. Point. So much. You just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? Okay. 10-4, good buddy. 10-4. Don't you mean a two? Thanks, Anton. And now when you get home, your wife's gonna be like, Look, this crazy kid busted out of a hospital! And he's heading somewhere! Oh, that's the crazy kid I just helped. Oh, look, they have like a nice little cute little colorful playground. That... Life is a gamble, bet on the Lord. Hmm. Oh, look at those little whale toys. I remember those. Let me know in the comments down below if you ever played on one of those things. Ours were ducks. I want... Let it all out. That's it. Um, what? Do I have to go there? I just kind of... I'm so glad this guy picked me up. I just want to look at what's here. Kind of stupid to worry about. I got him. a nice slide. These things. I kind of want to, like, play on these things. I can't see anything. Guess it's time to go to church. Oh, God. No! Can Game stop taking me to church? <laughs> oh, oh. I've had enough of that in my life. 
I'll only go back there for weddings. I think he was trying to tell me something about this place. Practice zone. Weird. Looks like our old training range. Daniel's here. Daniel's here. I know that means Daniel's here. I'm not stupid. Daniel is freaking here. Nevada is like a giant slot machine. They said Nevada. But this place seems different. Well, yeah, isn't Nevada part of the Bible Belt? So you get a lot of crazy, ch crazy church folk. Um, sorry guys, I just wanted to explore a bit because this place is huge. We got feels out of time, quiet. Wonder how many people come and go through this place. A lot, cause wasn't it a cult? I don't think people go though as much as they come. Smells like bacon and bread in there. Yum. Oh, just had a sandwich. No mamas. You just had a sandy. I wonder what kind of community this is. Do you not remember? Did Jacob really live here all his life? Do you not remember? He said they were crazy Bible toting people. Do you really not remember this, Sean? Back door. Okay. Enter. Alright. New question. We have three. We have two buildings. Three doors. Door A. Okay. Where are you, Daniel? Door B. Hmm. Must be more kids here. Wonder or if Daniel made friends. Door C. Oh, hey, we, we can see inside. Lame. <coughs> Hi. Probably should have snuck in the back door. You okay now? Is it gone? I I think. <laughs> Good. She, wait. Scoot back inside now. She coughed, okay, but she didn't so. cough. That was weird. Don't nod. Um, you guys messed up uh, on a little bit on that script. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. You here for the service? Um, looking for someone. Uh, not really looking for someone. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Daniel, you... Oh, no. Uh, what miracle? <laughs> you haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Yeah, the new Messiah, Sean, Praise is your brother Lord. Daniel. That poor little girl. Well, I guess we go in. Because we're going to run into Daniel. No recording, thank you. Oh, feel that cold air. Look. Oh, thank God. Why are you talking about my brother like that? See, you didn't know he was here. Praise be to Daniel, your friends, the Blatties. We saw a miracle. Oh, wow. Wait, I have to read that in their language. We saw a miracle, a miracle child D of Jesus today in Rev Fisher Church. Thank you. I would not believe it unless I saw it with my very own eyes. Daniel is indeed an angel sent down unto us. Hallelujah, Shamor. Fake! I agree. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the angel Daniel. He has arrived to clean the filth and sinners of this world. Bless his soul. 
a friend. Ooh, we got one more. I hear the word and will never forget this day or this church. The Reverend Mother is truly an instrument of the Lord. Amen. Ron Hornsby of Superior, Wyoming. Hmm. Nice fake smile. Our kingdom. Yeah. Right. Keep it to yourself then. Wait. No yeah. way. Yeah. The angel Daniel? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Sean, we're in trouble. Wash your face. You're gonna see your brother. Better clean up first. Yeah. So I don't scare Danny. You're gonna scare him either way. He's gonna be like, I thought I was done with you. I left you in a mess back with Meryl. And then you were in the hospital. And then you were about to be in jail. And now you're on the run. Jesus, Daniel. What did you do? Oh, God. Please tell me I don't need to a church take us my marketing guys I don't want to hear a sermon can we not you know what they take care of people maybe they need it they also took care of your brother apparently so now let's go get our pin Claire had pretty much the same ones my market. Well, I paid for it. Yeah, souvenir. Wait, can I change my souvenir? Ha. Are you serious? It's erased everything. I'm so mad. I don't know why. Like, I know I had to start a new save, but it wouldn't continue from where I was at. To testify before the Lord. Speak now. <laughs> oh, I feel your Holy Spirit. I want to hear your soul. Let me come to you. Sean? Daniel? Oh, shit. I will draw too much attention. Better try upstairs. It said the classrooms, but that's fine. We hear that word a lot, but faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh, no. What is faith? Weird question. Remember Luke eighteen twenty seven. Could this be their mom? For man is possible for God. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Do you want your soul to be saved? I don't want to. No. Oh yes. You are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift, an angel. A child graced with the power of God. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? No. Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member. 
and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Oh my God, he's so cleaned up. By false prophets. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, Praise to guide us from the wilderness Praise to our destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. Daniel, what did you do? Behold this miracle. Now hit them all with it and kill the cult slash church. It's all sparkly. Well, let's go get Daniel. Let's go yell at him for showing powers. He looks really unhappy, not gonna lie. Like, maybe he's like, I was better off with my brother, because they're keeping me trapped here. As our reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donation. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions? They're using Please. him and they're profiting off outside. him. Bless you for coming today. No. Sean, go save your brother now. Sean. Come on, Sean. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <laughs> yep, that was me. I like to be here, too. We can see the whole room, and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. Whoa. You okay? Need some Oh, more? wow, this is really uh, uh, laggy. No, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. Hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Hello, Sarah Lee. <laughs> My name is Sean. Good to meet you. By the way, can I ask you, you something? You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. Aw, good need? child. What is this place? 
What is this place? This is our home. <laughs> our church and community. She Forever sounds like she's dying. We are all chosen by God. Who is this reverend? You don't know her? That's our mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <laughs> she can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle. And the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. Aww. We play together all the time. Aww. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Aww. Daniel, you're the living proof. And mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh my... Sean! You came back! I knew it! You've grown up, and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of... me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Ha, it's the past. It's I'm all so good. Daniel. You just gotta walk on. Does it hurt? No. Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. It's different. It's I kinda like it. A bowl cut. Sean. No. I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look! One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so. Oh, her thing is clipping through her my arm. Name. My name. Her is stole. Elizabeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return, Sean. You must be a believer now in our Lord too. Not really. Well, not really. No. <sighs> Daniel told me. But I was praying you saw the light. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. This she doesn't like him being there. today. She definitely doesn't want him being there. For quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. Yes, you are. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family. And it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. Haha, <laughs> sure. Oh my god, I want that sassy one. God? Or you? God, of course. I'm his family. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Yes, they are. Mark 3, 25. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him, I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I've heard about what you did in California. 
how you pushed your brother into felony. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance oh my God. I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's. Holy she God. fell way too what easily. Happened? Your brother came in here impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. She's right. You showed up and look what happened. Like all the time. I will pray for you. Oh my god, they brainwash him! To manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy! Let's get out of here, Daniel. I want to stay. It's because they treat him like a god. Here's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? Daniel! <laughs> Let me go, asshole! <laughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it! You just need to have faith. We'll be oh my you. god! Okay, Sean. Sean, we're gonna have to fake it to make it and get our brother back. There you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! But you said God accepts everybody! Kid, don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. Did you just punch him in his bad eye? He was just getting up. Daniel! Off the floor that you pushed him on. Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders. Oh my god, the stand your own ground rule. I Fluff that law. You can basically shoot anyone who just like walks on your property. He doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! Sean? We'll figure this out. Sean? Mom. It's his m freaking mother. Karen? You won't get him back like this. Let's go. How did she know? And why is this so laggy and glitchy all of a sudden? Sean, look, mom's here. Daniel will come when it's mom. He's been wanting to see mom forever. Just tell Daniel it's mom. Sean, what happened to your eye? Daniel. Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing and that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. So you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're going to have to talk. Kind of are. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. Has she gone to the church and seen what Daniel has done? Does she know? Sean, we need to talk to her. Get over it. 
enough to talk to her and then just go back to being mad and angry at your mother. I think moms are used to it by now. Should he be showering with that thing on? I can't believe they like brainwashed Daniel and she did that all well I mean I can believe that Sean we're gonna get Daniel back he's gonna see mom and we're all gonna go to Porto Lobos together and live like a one big dysfunctional happy family man didn't clean the pain away but that felt good Yes, because pain can easily be cleaned away. What else is in this bathroom? Oh, I can't go into the shower anymore? We were just there. Okay. Mirror. Look. Damn. You look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Hopefully we have the supplies. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. Hmm. Wonder if your mom is out to do stuff that's not quite legal like you, and she's on the run constantly. Because look, she's not even here. I wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's... This country is just... Whoops. Very too big. big. <laughs> so he was saying, did she see one of Daniel's miracles? So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. Okay. I know I shouldn't peek, but glad to know she learned the lesson. Ha. <laughs> you guys probably have another family member out there somewhere from her. Karen did her own road trip to get here. So she came from Arizona. Turning forward to look back, making the same choice twice, twice, my solitude days and dreamy nights, just to myself, looking forward to turn back. Basically, she wants to go back to no kids. Mm, screw you, Karen. Damn. Right, Karen her name? Karen like to capture the world around her. <laughs> she's a Karen. I just realized this. Oh my god, she's a Karen. <laughs> Tracing closer every mile, my heart goes racing sore. I remember, know the feeling. There's no fighting back that beating, tearing apart my core. Early morning blues, coffee, red eye truckers and sad families, bad eggs. Not the waitress's fault. She is a quick, hurried one, probably ending a long s shift. Tag says Clementine, 22-ish. Redhead, dyed brunette, eyebrows and skin tone don't lie. Irish descent, owner's daughter maybe, Mahoney's, vague, polite smile, busy mind. Mildly clumsy, looks distracted, anxious. Young cook called her Clemmy. Brother, boyfriend, boyfriend. Apologies, apologies, apologizes when the orders are late and she's the one getting roasted. Do mom and dad know you're dating on the job, Clemmy? Mixing up work and love seldom make a good match. A brand new baby bump under the stained apron. It's 2017 and young folks are busy making babies. I guess nothing changes. Okay, let's get out of Karen's bag. Hello. <laughs> I'm like, let's get out of Karen's bag. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Probably. Certain phones can last forever. Just like my dad's phone that he has. Huh. This isn't her tablet. What do you mean? 
struggle with too many open apps, but should be okay for basic browsing, geolocate, password is, hope you find your son, 112708. Yay, technology. Welcome. She came prepared. Yeah, she did. I'm not reading all of this. Basically says, hi, this is the church we are, ha ha ha. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Looks like a roach motel. But nobody will find me there. Can we play games? <laughs> is that? Uh, I don't want to read. Um, this is it. Okay. What's in the drawer? Take. Take the casino. Ooh. I can't look at the Bible? That's good. We've come a long, long way, buddy. <laughs> you sure have. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. <laughs> Let's try this that again. This thing is killing me. Um. Oh, thank you. I got bruises on my bruises. Souvenir. The Bible's a souvenir. There we go. Yeah. I bet every guest can't wait to read this. I guess not. Alright, let's go look at the stupid note. Stupid Karen and her stupid note. Be right back. <laughs> we'll find out. Popped out for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom, all yours if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. Be right back, Karen. Jacob. I don't remember a Jacob. Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. Dear Mrs. Diaz, my name is Jacob, and I worked with your son, Sean, and Daniel on a farm in California. There were some problems, and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point. That Jacob? He took him back? He gave me this P.O. Box address, so if you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me in this number, 775-555-0118. Let's go call Jacob. Let's go call Jacob. Karen was always into it. I can't call Jacob. I even think it's the one she... That phone. Hello? Jacob, it's me, Sean. I was in a coma. You found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! He's back in the cult. Because he wanted to save Damn. Daniel. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. Now, uh, what do I do? Guess we're just gonna let's just rest while I wait for her. Wait for Karen. If she comes back. She doesn't even she doesn't have the stereotypical haircut though, so I don't know if she's a true Karen. Does she like to go, can I see your manager? 
Mom's hey. home. Sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. He's like, screw you for thinking you remember things. Oh man. I wouldn't even know like how to process if my like all this and my mom just like came back out of nowhere. Got you some gauze and uh antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. I Shut do. Up. I do. I knew she was gonna say that. Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Oh, we got, they did get some help. We just got lucky. And got some help along the way. Total strangers. We even had our own little family. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why. If you care. I don't. So, ask me anything. Why did you leave? All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. I felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. So dad knew. Did dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. <sighs> well, let's just keep going at the top one. He ones. was heartbroken for months after you left. To make her feel bad. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So, now we're back to the original questioning line. What are you doing here, Karen? Fucking Karen. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Guess I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah. Okay. Think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And <laughs> I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years. 
I fooled myself, thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Oh, let's be nice. I know you are, Karen. It still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past. Sure. I don't think you would. I need some air. Oh, Sean. Please just work with her to get your brother and then you guys can go wherever the heck you want to go. Pretty sure she ain't even going to follow. This would be a perfect time for drawing. Sean. Whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. She's like, come on, just say you freaking hate us. So, what? what did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried. But I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. <sighs> yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world, with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. There actually is a decent amount of nomads, which is what they call modern- they call themselves modern-day nomads that end up in Arizona, because apparently it's like one of the most peaceful places on the earth. Also, how do you make peace? A very specific your drug husband. capital of I America. I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. Not fake it for anybody. Why did you ghost I us? You. I get you wanted to leave and stuff. Okay. But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. Nope. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. Oh, but her, her mouth's not moving. I almost did. You wanted a clean break, but didn't you? you? A clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. He does. Cool plan, Mom. You hurt Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I could start by getting his ass out of that church, cult, whatever. Did you miss them, so, Mama? Did you ever actually miss us or Dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. 
He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I miss watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I miss sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so we much. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. Well, the guess we know what well, he's gonna do. Ah, come on, so Sean. Careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Give me one, Mom. Nope. Ask for a freaking smoke. Hey, um, mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. A few? Well, I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. She has like an entire pack left. Oh man, Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometime. Long ago. We didn't fight much. But when we did... I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And then we'd just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend, Lila. Aww. Sitting on the porch. Smoking pot. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. <laughs> shut the hell up and watch the universe do its own thing. I really hope that's not like real advice. <laughs> that just made me realize a few things. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay, let's go. Look, see, they're kind of getting along. Come on, Sean. You just gotta get Daniel out Sean, and you'll be fine. I know I can't change the past. But I can change the future. Oh, well, but this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. Yes. You say yes. I know. I want to cry right it's now. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. I just want we Sean to it. be happy. I want Sean's okay. life to be in Puerto Lobos where everything's uh, fine and the law's not after him and he's with Daniel. With this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well. Funny you should mention I that. I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. <laughs> okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? <laughs> Say yes, be nice. Yes. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? <gasps> When we have time. 
you, you've got you got till 4 p.m. tomorrow, Sean. What ki kind of time don't you have right now? Oh my god, Sean, come on, just tell her the truth. She obviously has seen Daniel perform a miracle, which means she knows about Daniel's special abilities. You could tell her Daniel's a freaking psycho. Oh my god, Sean, just tell her. I feel like I'm being annoying because of that. Sean. Here, try this on. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yes, we should. We shall. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. So now we're at the meeting place, and we're going to talk to Jacob, and he's going to tell us all about the church slash cult. I wonder if this church has anything to do with La Luz de, La Luz de Mundo. Wild Mice sure Ranch. Show up. I kind of want to go to that. He better. Sean. Oh my gosh, you, you got a full eye patch. Well, I love it. Me. You're Mr. Pirate me. Boy. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Yeah. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? He's a crazy psycho telekinetic kid. Nope, we're telling the well, truth. He's definitely special. Hope so. He's your brother, right? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. He's still wearing his weird pajama patched pants. Whoa, he cleaned Sean, up. What happened? Oh, can you explain? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like, he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens, and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. Y you stole my cash? Oh, so you took my brother and my money. Better me than the cops, don't you think? You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, shocked and mute, and all by himself. I couldn't just leave him there. So you brought him to a cult? So you came back here after you escaped, but with a dazed little boy. And everybody was cool with that? Trust me, it was not an easy thing for me to come back. And, yeah, they took us in. That's what they do here. They take people in. Oh, they didn't take me in? They said they didn't want to take me in yesterday. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. You did nothing? Did you even try to stop her? Sean, stop it. Why did you think I wrote to your mother? Ugh, come on. 
There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. <laughs> Hi. I'm sorry, every time she says her name, okay. I just have the whole, like, I need to I speak to your manager you in the back this, of my head. But I... I have an idea. I think school must be over by now. But Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch, in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh... We have to get my sister, too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand. Right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Fine, okay, we'll Jake. get... They'll get her. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just... We need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What oh, Daniel won't go with you? I hope this is linear enough that I he don't will. mess this up. I know him. <coughs> Just bring mom and he'll go with mom. That's an M-A-H-M. -M, mom. You gotta bring mom. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to end here and it's the whole fifth episode is them breaking him out. Because I can't... I don't know how much longer this is going. I thought I found the perfect place to like split this in half, but maybe not. happens let me do the talking okay yeah of course let's get this over with ooh gameplay okay Elizabeth's house is right behind the church so in and out okay and you sure Elizabeth will have those files on your sister watch out Sean there are people right outside oh shit how many Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. Do they say there's a woman on this side? Yeah. How? So, did you grow up out of here? No. In another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought this me along. This place feels so different when it's empty and silent. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Whoa. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. Where did you go? Hi. So we're going to be very, very quiet. We're hunting for medical files. And now I'm officially a pirate. Okay, so far we avoided everybody, but somehow it's so quiet here, okay. they should have seen us. There it is. It looks empty. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Luckily for us, we never close our door. Oh, thank God. No pun intended. Oh, 
We did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Oh, of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. Oh. Oh. Evenings in here must be so much fun. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. <laughs> no. It's just... Lizbeth sure likes to be on pictures. Full of memories and stuff. Confide and convince? Okay, I'm not finding a key in spots. 15 steps to a good speech. <laughs> yeah. Nice read for a saleswoman. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Hey, at least Daniel's st stuck doing chores. Now he knows Coaxing some good value. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. Squeakinax? That sounds yummy. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. Ooh, there's pills. This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Right? Those shouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Let's take them. Might be enough to open that door. Okay, hang on. A little bit more because I... Mm, let's not touch the... Oh, wow. Is this Daniel's room? Yeah. Man, it's depressing. Well, Elizabeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. What's in this room? <sighs> Locked, of course. <sighs> Shit. People are really all over his power. Cool. So much for secrecy. Whoa. 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 Daniel Finn's so bracelet. This. And he misses Finn. What a waste. <laughs> They're so cute. Aw. Um. Box. Do not tell me a rock is no. We we've, we've oh, seen that. What is this? Daniel Fisher? Oh no. No, that's total bullshit and creepy. Yeah, it is. Happy birthday, Daniel. Sean, is everything all right in there? Uh, yeah. Is she for? Uh, yes. We're trying to get into her office. She's locked it up, so it has to be there. Don't see anything of interest. You could take the cigarettes <laughs> and the lighter. <laughs> wow. Uh, they kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Now it's been a long time since we last talked, and I know that our talk was not a happy one. Despite our differences, we all knew you were a devout spirit to be reckoned with. Nobody has been surprised by your words and deeds touching you so... Nobody has been surprised by your words and deeds touching so many people. I hope you believe it when I say we are all proud of you, but we are also sorry and ashamed for asking you to leave the church without understanding the power of your faith. As we need to remind ourselves, mistakes can be life lessons. Even prideful deacons should be humbled before the Lord's wisdom, yada yada. I don't think the church I grew up in had a deacon. I can't... Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. Uh oh. Thank you for telling me so about Daniel. I'm on my way to Haven Point now. Please let Daniel know without getting him or you in trouble that his family has not forgotten him. I don't know where Sean is and I hope we can find him too. I hope the best for you. Do not hesitate. Um.
Gotcha. Okay, good. Let's try it. Hey, I found your letter for Jacob. Too bad Lisbeth found it first. She took it from the mail? Damn that woman. Yeah, she checks everything that comes and goes into the community. Yes, that's the one. Oh, Yay. Perfect. Were there multiple keys? Whoa. I mean, I'll never know. A personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. She has pneumonia? Really? And they're not helping her? And from what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you too. Oh, well, duh. You can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you like... Sick? Conversion therapy? Do they... Wanted to cure you from... Running away? Being... Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <laughs> they thought I was a freak. Oh, Jacob! That's why he ran away. Is that why you... Ran away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared. Confused. I really did believe I was a sinner. So I thought I had to atone for my sins. What did they make you do? And, uh... How did that go? Not good. I just prayed all the time. And... Stopped hanging out with boys, girls, everybody. I got depressed, paranoid. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd, I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him. Well, technically... You kept him safe, though. Happened, Jake. His powers tripped me out, too. Don't worry. We'll get him out. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Better care than here. Oh, yeah. Keep our money. For your sister. She needs it. Oh, I, I can't do that, Sean. That, that, that's a lot of... We're okay. It will cover her medical bills. Our mom wow. will help us. Thank you, Sean. Somehow. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be on to you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Just be just say it. She's gonna die. Yeah. Just say it. See what you can do. I will. She's yeah. gonna do the whole like, ooh, Sean, hey, baby. I gotta hide. 
now. Hurry up. Oh. Can we close the damn door? Sean, we need to hide. Man, if he finds us here, we're screwed. Why is Jake not hiding? Jake! Tell Elizabeth about this. He's going to get, he's going to figure out Jake. Jake chose the stupidest hiding spot ever. Hide behind the door. Come on, guy. Come on, mom. Oh, no. Huh? What? What the fuck is going on? Sean, do you think it's got to be Karen? Oh, he's gone. Let's get out of here. Yes. Oh, hello. What is it? I think that's the file Nicholas had. Take a look. What? Is she trying to adopt Daniel? Exactly. And she's doing it under the table, of course. Man. Take the file! What are we doing, boys? Does that remove the doors from the middle of the room? Did anyone else catch that glitch? We shouldn't be here. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh my god. They're gonna patch this after I play it. Watch. That happens Look every that. time. <laughs> Your mom is hardcore, Sean. Yeah. I guess she is. So we're all good now? I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Good luck. Where's Daniel? Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later. Let's go to church. I don't know how many times through video games am I going to be saying that? Because I don't say that. <laughs> Alright, so. Of course. Locked, of course. Wait. I thought I said to break dorm. Like, yes, so weed. Why did you stop running, Sean? Let's go. We gotta get Daniel. You can't stop running. We need to get Daniel. We need to go to class. Hi, Mom. So you know what you're gonna do? Damn. No. But let's do it. Oh, Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble Sean. servant and will obey your every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's... Special. Kind of special. Hey. Sean! 
You came back? Enano, little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. What? No, I'm not going anywhere. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice. No, he hasn't. I'm offering you to join. He needs to know that's mom. Your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. He's like, she Mom. Came here. She's here. For you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. <laughs> it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. Oh, wow. Look this at her outfit. For you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once. But when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend? to care about these two children. You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. Daniel! Smarter than this. You Daniel, are smarter than this. She's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but... I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother. And I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Come on, Daniel, make the right decision. This time, the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Holy shit. Sean. Daniel. Leonard, are you okay? Nicholas. They're, they're heretics. Sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay. What now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother. Daniel, Sean. make the right choice. Your friend, Sarah Lee. She's very sick, and Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She won't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. No, he doesn't. Faith in yourself, Don't Daniel. Listen to her religious bullshit. You need to have faith in yourself, not in her. How do you know it's bullshit? You don't believe in anything. 
You're right. He's wicked. Unfaithful. Uh -oh. Did I just choose the wrong thing? She was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah. They knew she was crazy. So she left and founded Haven Point. Why would they do that? Did she do something wrong? Liar! I left on my own because they were all blind. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. Oh my god, we're gonna screw this up. I found a letter from Karen, her mother, inside her house. She hid it from you. Oh so god, it's on fire. Knew. I hear the fire. Do you hear the fire? You. What? You told me she didn't want to see me. See what you have done. Hey, Inano. <sighs> Back off. No one is going to keep me away from you. I said stop. <sighs> came all this way for you and nobody will stop you. come on Sean we gotta get this whatever if I need <gasps> punched him in his bad eye again are you kidding come on Sean we got this the more you get hurt the more Daniel's gonna come I know I wasn't a great brother I was an asshole I should have never agreed to do that heist it was stupid don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him. Don't let them do that, Daniel. Come on. <laughs> Sean's like dying already. This is going to kill him, Daniel. Just make holy cry yay. yay. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. He always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! So we have to keep going no. forward. What are you going to kill him? Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. They're gonna kill him with a freaking gun. I will. There's a fifth episode, so probably not. Nothing is gonna stop me, Daniel. Come on, Daniel. You see the truth. Daniel. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know. Uh, please uh, stop. Leave him alone, Daniel. Listen to him. Come on, Daniel. Come on, Inano. You guys are lone wolves together. Oh! I won't stop. No matter what she does. I'll come right back. Again. And again. <laughs> I love you, Daniel. Oh. too. No! Don't move. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. The mom's going to jump in front. Do it! No! Shoot! No! Go ahead. What? Shoot no! No, no, no. No, no. No, no. Please don't. Daniel, save your brother. Save your brother. Daniel, thank you. See now when you're older you get to laugh about this Sean, and go ha 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 I got trapped in a cult. Now. See now they're gonna have like arson? 
Attack! Oh my god, no, do not take the gun! They're gonna have arson oh, no. <laughs> attached to their records. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. This is your fault. Yours! Sean. Wait. Daniel. She really did try to use me. She hurt you. She's mad. Oh no! No! We are not letting him kill another don't, person! Don't, don't. Look what she's done to you! Answer me! She manipulates everyone! She deserves it. Do we not get to spare her? Oh no. I don't. No! No! Sean! I don't want this on you, but I also don't want Daniel. this on Daniel either. Oh my god! Karen, shoot Lizbeth! Please take the gun and shoot him. Her. No! Oh, now he has a murder charge on him. And his prints are on the gun, and this is the 21st century where we have fingerprint detection capabilities. Sean! Daniel, don't you see what you just did to Sean? It was her or us. Huh. Well. No. I want this game to pick up on my last choices. Like, what the heck happened? Somehow I feel like it wouldn't have gone this bad if it picked up on my last choices. Oh no! Please tell me Karen's gonna <laughs> help them. Oh no. Sean, I'm so sorry. Oh, Sean, there's definitely copyright music attached to this. I have to replay this. I don't, that's why I have two save files. The first one is the, is supposed to be the one, and then it glitched out, so I had to start a new one. But I've been keeping both going. Man, I'm so mad. Daniel, please, your brother did so you wouldn't kill someone. Happy Easter, he has risen. So this is around April, May. Oh, hey, that guy's alive. Does he have the gun? No, he doesn't have the gun. No, just leave him alone, Daniel. You guys just go home, meet up with Jake and Lizbeth. And Lizbeth. Um, Sarah Lee, your best friend. Yes, thank you, Jake, for helping us. Mom's going to take us. You get your sister to safety. You make sure she gets to a hospital and get well. Yes, Sean, I will take care of my sister. Bye, Daniel. Bye, Sara Lee. Come on, Mom, we got to go. Finish your cigarette and don't just put it out in the driest place on the earth because that would actually start another fire. There's a reason why those are laws in like California and Arizona. Pretty sure it's also in Nevada. We're on the road again. We burnt down a church and killed a woman. Cause we're on the road again. Daniel's back with us, but is he mad? Aw. I don't know. With his hair and his eyebrows, he looks pissed. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below whether or not Daniel looks pissed. Everyone's going to hate on me for using Sean to shoot him. I don't want... Sean's grown up so much. I think mentally he can handle this. Daniel, I don't think, can handle that if he kills somebody. Because he's already gotten people killed and it freaked him out. To be continued. Life is Strange, Episode 2. Or Life is Strange 2, Episode 4. Faith. As always, 
The game will be linked down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am Zombie Kitty. I love this. Episode 5, when it comes out. Sid Matters. Oh, the original scores by him? He was in the original one, too. Uh, thank you and have a good night.